A decades old piece of Eastern Idaho history has been revived after it got some TLC during the state shutdown. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Kate Garner gives us a look at the newly renovated West Bank Convention Center. Our wedding breakfast was in front of this fireplace 56 years ago. Dane Watkins is the owner of the West Bank Convention Center in Idaho Falls. It's a place that he holds dear to his heart and is a place he means to save. And I've had people come to me and say, Dane, let's, let's tear it down and build something new and start over again. And I didn't think that was the right idea. Watkins wanted to bring back the luster the building had nearly 60 years ago. And his family has a long history in the area. Before owning the West Bank, they sold farming equipment along the Snake River. Now, they work to preserve historical buildings in the area. I thought we had something here uh, that could be enhanced and improved upon and, and brought up to the standard of 2020. 2020 standards mean the public can rent rooms out with multiple services provided in-house. For meeting, food, AV tables, you know, just to have everything ready to go so that the way the message and the content of what people have to share and say can be the focus point. There are many reasons that they're hoping to draw people to the West Bank, but one of the biggest ones is what's right behind me. The West Bank has a direct view of the falls. When the pandemic caused the state to lock down, the business had to close its doors, which allowed renovations to move ahead at record pace. Now, as the community reacquaints itself with the West Bank, Mr. Watkins has more plans to revitalize the area. We've got more improvements to come. In Idaho Falls, Cade Garner, KPVI, news that works for you. West Bank will hold the second annual Deck the Falls event during the Christmas season.